This is my desktop, and as part of it, I have a Glue 42 toolbar in the top left corner. I can move it wherever I like, across one or multiple monitors. But in my case, I want it right here. On the toolbar, I have access to some useful features. I can close it, access some system settings, more on this in a later video, and view notifications that have been aggregated from my applications. This is where I can access previously saved collections of windows with their position, state, and even data context. I can create new layouts here. And finally, I can launch a set of applications which are based upon my permissions. In some situations, this list might be very long, so I can search for an application by name, for example, client. or search by a function offered by an application, shown here. To make things easier next time around, I will make this one of my favourite apps, and it will appear on the toolbar, just here. Let's open this application. This is a list of my clients with some high-level details. Here I'd like to take a look at Vernon's portfolio. This is a completely different application, which is launched using Vernon's portfolio information. Using the sticky windows capability, these two apps appear as one. Now let's check another client portfolio, this time belonging to Decca. It has been configured to appear as an additional tab, while preserving Vernon's portfolio details here. If I want, I can tear this tab out and place it as a separate window on my desktop. I can also define whether to keep syncing the data context between applications. For example, when I click this button and select a different client, the data context will be synced in real time. While this window, which is not synced, will preserve the original context. Notice that the taskbar icons reflect my window arrangement so these two applications appear as one, while this one remains separate. This group of windows will behave as one, so I can minimize, restore, and resize. I have full control over how windows and applications are organized on my desktop. I can make this a separate window and stick it to the bottom. Again, notice that the taskbar icon will reflect that. Now I'd like to close this group. A single click is enough. And as you'll see, the other portfolio window that was not part of the group remains on my desktop, so I can continue using it.